The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. Dance, dance, you have some police officer here. They stopped this young lady. She was driving her car and she parked her car to the left and she came out. And she's... Um, She's, as Guyanese would say, she is reasoning. And yeah, I love that word, reasoning. She's reasoning with the police officer. She's now explaining, you know, the long story. I, I'm trying to get my driver's license and blah, 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 you know, the, 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 the normal thing. Or... I forgot my, my, my driver's license. Mm -hmm. She's she's reasoning. An officer seems to be, you know, a, a very good officer. Yes, she's listening. Look at this here. Attentively. Yeah. You think these people care about the law of this country? These people just worried about how to use use the job as they look. She sent the girl back to her car. They're just concerned about using the, 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 the job. Whether it's the police force or or, or the registry or or, or, or or GPO, that's all these people are, are, are worried about. How they can use these government offices to enrich themselves, to, to, you know, they don't care about law. Now, she sent the girl back to her car and the girl returned. Now, watch carefully how this girl is going to push her hands in her pocket, take out something. You and I know what that something is. And she's not going to give it to the officer in her hand. She is going to stick it between the motorcycle, between the flare of the motorcycle, between the tank and the flare. There is a space there. Now watch carefully. Watch. Look, 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 look. You see? Collect her documents, and she gone. You know, it's a, it's it's a, it's an ongoing thing. It's been like this for many many years. Viewers and subscribers, yes, when it comes down to this whole police corruption thing, it is not nothing new to me. Yes, what I say? It's not the first me I hear about it, and you know, it's not the first me I see a video on social media about it. You understand me? Now, if, if, if the person actually put money on that police vehicle or on the flare, as how the person had said it, you see me? It really and truly, it really and truly look away. You see me? And that is if. Because I look at the video, you know, and I did not clearly see if the person put money on the police vehicle or at the flare or how the person might call it, you see me? So I say if, and you see the thing about it to viewers and subscribers, so I say, the thing about it is, you know, these things need to be looked into whenever these things are put out there on social media, understand me? Because you cannot have persons who are supposed to be upholding the law doing things that are against the law you understand and by the way this had happened within the country that is known as guyana you see what i'm saying to you not ghana i said guyana yes it is said that this had happened in the country that is known as guyana you understand and if i listen to the person talking in the background of this video to your viewers and subscribers you know it sounds as if the person is concerned you know yeah um this whole thing caught on camera let me know what to think about that video that I just presented to you. You understand? I, I think I think this video somehow might bring a certain awareness when it comes down to police corruption. You see me? This video has been brought to my attention and I bring it to you so that you can have a look at it and to keep you up to date and posting and let you know what's going on. Alright? Now as I talk about police corruption, you see? Not all police officers are bad out there. You understand? And I'm talking about worldwide. You see me? So right about now, I'm going to put together and present to you two pieces of videos. 
that are out there on social media and these two pieces of videos shows police officers within the country of Jamaica doing doing some things that are considered to be good you understand yeah um these police officers did some things that are considered to be good and really and truly I want to say big up and respect to these police officers you understand anyways here are the videos take a look listen and observe Protect, yeah? Serve and protect. This is serve and protect. This is normal. This is normal. This serve and protect here. Mm -hmm. Officer, help out in the middle, midst of the storm. One, so the lady pray down on the road. Officer, them, I try to assist her. The best, best way possible. Yeah, my general, I still want to see society, you know? So I want to see Jamaica. She dropped in a patrol. Yeah, man. So they might carry the master side. Carry the tire shop, carry the, the, the wheel. Yeah, the tire shop, you see, man? And come put it on back. Yeah, man. So everybody if it stays, eh, man? Hmm. Viewers and subscribers, you see, whenever there is a video or videos that shows a police officer or police officers doing some things that are considered to be bad, I notice some of the times that that video or those videos intend to spread all over social media very quickly, fast. You see? So I believe that whenever there is a video or videos that shows of a police or police officers doing things that are considered to be good, I think that that video or those videos should be spread all over social media as quickly as the bad videos as well. I hope you understand what I'm saying, you know. There are good police officers out there. You understand? You see it, so we can always look at the bad side of things in our viewers and subscribers. You understand? So, big up and respect to those police officers, you see me I say? Doing their job and, you know, basically protect and serve. You understand? So, big them up. Alright, so anyways, viewers and subscribers, I'm going to present, uh, uh, what's a, what I would call this now? It is said to be a audio. Yes, I'm going to present an audio to you and... This audio is on social media where it is said that a parent is frustrated when it comes down to the whole online class thing. You see what I say? Now, viewers and subscribers, the person in this audio said, said something that I really and truly don't too, too agree with it. You understand? But like I said, on social media, it is said that uh, the person... Um, seems to be frustrated when it comes down to the whole online class thing, you see me? And I'm talking about the whole online class thing where it is said that um, children are able to stay at home and learn at home, you see me? So teachers go online and teach children at home and so on, you see me? It is because of the whole COVID-19 thing, that's why um, online classes been happening not only in the country of Jamaica but other places in the world as well, you understand? But anyways, Let's take a look, listen and observe. Good morning, Miss Tasha Vera Mother here. Um, you've been sending the work and I'm not here to supervise Deja Vera. Deja Vera has completed nothing at all. When me go to work and come home, honestly, if me have the time to look over, I don't have the time to go through this. Deja Vera gets 60 questions Monday, I have no service. That back up on Tuesday, then 60. Miss, honestly, this is so frustrating. Me can't bother with this. Me have to leave my phone. Me de out there, so, and it's like, me still not get nothing done. It is not ensure that nothing will go on. You know, get the work, and me not see nothing coming, like, say, your ask feet or nothing. Would I like to suggest to them people, say, open school and make COVID kill them, yeah, man. Because me, me tell you that this. No, mm. no, this is this serious. This is really serious. You know, this is not even a joking thing. You see what I say? I'm not really there here for judge. But you see me? Um, you know, the thing that I'm looking at is just that uh, I don't think anyone should be so frustrated that uh, they are going to 
say something like that, you see me? Sometimes persons say some things that them don't mean, you know, but at the same time, that don't make it right. You understand me? If you cannot afford to do the whole online class thing, I think it is best to keep your child at home until you can afford to do so or until the whole COVID-19 pandemic is over. You see me, I say? But to say certain things like this and, you know, it's... it's no, sir. Mm -mm. I totally do not agree with some of the things that this person had said in this audio a while ago. No, I do not. Absolutely no. All right, viewers and subscribers, um, here's where I believe it. If you don't know me, dance a skill, I'm love to keep you up to date and post it, let you know what's going on, and you can also let me know what you think about the videos that I just presented to you. Yes, me? Let me know what you think about the audio as well. Yes, me? Um, all right, so here's where I believe it. So big up and respect to each and every one, and until the next time, if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button. I mean, I'm dance a skill, I know. You know, big up on yourself. You see it? Hey, my you, you know where you watch? Dance on Skillet! Yeah, man. Mm. Hey, yo, Skillet! You are watching Dance on Skillet. Tint.